<laughs> welcome back. <laughs> yep, welcome. We back again. <laughs> I hey. get so tickled, I don't know why God is good. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> okay. Y'all, we back, and we are Is, is the, the Truth, truth being, being Told. And it is being told. It's being told. Yes, but it is. what we gonna do? Shout, shout it from, from the, the rooftop. rooftop. That's what we gonna do. We gonna shout it from the <laughs> rooftop. My name is Michelle. And my name is Deborah. And we're here to give you insight. And help you on your walk with Christ. Yes. <laughs> um, as a believer. Yes. You know, um, Christian, that name Christian has a bad ring in people's mouth now because we're being persecuted. Yeah. But we have to hold faith in God's word. Yes. You know, and trust in him in these times. So we're still going to continue our talk in grief and fear and these different things that we still go with, go through go through life with yes and um first we're gonna have deborah pray and then we're gonna get right on in there yes heavenly father we do thank you lord we thank you father that um we are here not just for ourselves father god we're yes. here to minister to our brothers and sisters and encourage yes. and those lord who may not even know god mm -hmm. we're not limited to what you would desire to do Mm -hmm. Father, we just pray right now, Father God, for those who are suffering, even in just trusting you, yes. those who are fearing, Lord God, coming yes. to you and even asking you because they feel like they're not worthy. Mm -hmm. Father, we Jesus. pray for them right now, God. We pray in the basis of what we're praying, God, mm -hmm. today and, this, and what we're going to talk about, Father, we pray that it will encourage them and yes. it will cause them, Lord God, to draw close to you to hear your voice yes. to know what it is to be in your presence yes. and to experience the joy and the peace of knowing how you are faithful to deliver yes. no matter how bad the circumstances may look that you are God and yes. you alone are able to move the mountains and the circumstances in our lives from day to day yes. as we put our trust in you, you we can call upon your name and know that you will come through in Jesus name we act these things amen amen amen, amen. praise God amen so we want to get right on into it and so I have um I wanted to give you guys a few meanings first before we went in you know got into it the mm -hmm. word of God and I'm just going to give a brief description of uh, grief what grief means grief means a deep sorrow especially that caused by death trouble or annoyance a strong sometimes overwhelming emotion terminal diagnosis they or someone has received and there's a few other um, examples of grief it says death you know death of a partner pet friend loved one leaving home yes uh, you know um illness loss of health uh change job uh, whether you're moving into a new home, you know, a new territory, that's it. Loss of physical ability in your yes. body, you can grieve over that. And then loss of financial security. Mm -hmm. Rumination, persistent thinking means persistent thinking that causes worry and distress. This is exactly why I would always go back to that scripture, Isaiah 23 and 3. But first, I'm going to read... Um, Second Corinthians 10, 1 through 6, because that's um, going to be um, hitting the, the imaginations, you know, yes. um, as us being believers, what, um, what goes on with that one. And what Paul was stating here mm -hmm. in uh, uh, 2 Corinthians 10. Yeah, 2 Corinthians 10, yeah. 1 through 6. Mm -hmm. And it says, and I'm reading out of the easy to read version. It says, I, Paul, am begging you with the gentleness and the kindness of Christ. Some say I am bold when I am writing you from a distance, but not when I'm there with you. They think our motives for what we do are like those of the world. I plan to be very bold against those people when I come. I hope I will not need to use that same boldness with you. We live in this world but we do not fight our battles in the same way the world does. Yes. 
the weapons we use are not human ones. Yes. Our weapons are power from God and can destroy the enemy's strong yes. places. Yes, Jesus. Look at yes. that. Yes. We destroy people's arguments mm -hmm. and we tear down every proud ideal that raises itself against the knowledge yes. of God. Yes, yes. We also capture every thought and make it give up and obey Christ. We are ready to punish anyone there who does not obey. But first, we want you to be fully obedient. Yes. So that's um, 2 Corinthians 10 and 1 through 6. And then I'm going to read uh, Romans 12 and 1. That was my favorite scripture <laughs> when I was little. I, I think I did my first sermon on Romans 12 and 1. And I didn't even really know the full capability, the full effect, uh, effect of it, mm -hmm. of what it was saying mm -hmm. in Romans 12 and 1. And it says, I'm reading out the King James Version. It mm -hmm. says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto, unto God, which is your reasonable, reasonable service. service. That's our service. That's what we're <laughs> supposed to be doing. Yes. And the second verse goes in and says, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that yes. you may be able to prove that what, that what mm -hmm. is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Yes. You see yes, that? Yes. We got another one and we're going to go into that one, but that's how we fight. That's how we fight these um, different situations, the grief and the constant battles that the enemy tries to bring to yes. us. Because you want to normally, you want to just, oh, I'm just, I don't feel like going nowhere. I'm not, mm -hmm. I don't want to get dressed. <laughs> I don't even want to do anything. And you got to push yourself. You have to fight. Yes. You know, I was going through that again this week and like, oh man, I'm just, it was just a feeling and, mm -hmm. and, and that's, that's like oppression, huh? Oh Never? yeah. Cause with that, that's where you really got to draw into the Lord yeah. is because when you're going through that thing, like you got so many things coming at you mm -hmm. and, um, that's what I was telling her about. Remember, remember I heard my brother, he was ministering just the other day and he mentioned the scripture and I had just read the scripture a couple weeks ago and I was like, yes, cause you see yourself going through a lot of things and how they, uh, I think it was Paul was encouraging when I'm saying, one of the ministers of the Lord was mm -hmm. encouraging them yes. to um, to take heart because I just turned the page. Mm -hmm. uh, turn Acts fourteen and twenty two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's what you put want. that. In, I want that in in the uh, easy to read version. But he was telling them that they must pass through many tri tribulations, much tribulations, in order to um, enter the kingdom of God, and how we ourselves have been through so much at times that we're going through so much that we feel like, God, I can't do this. It's too much, but you can. Yes, I'm here to tell you the stuff that we go through now, the, it's the testing of our faith to prepare us mm -hmm. when we're going through in our minds, our minds being renewed by the word is that, wait a minute, what did the Lord say? Yeah. The, the Bible says he will never leave me, nope. nor will he forsake me. Nope. That's part of casting down imaginations. When the scriptures come, when you say, you know what, Satan, you're alive. It is written. God said he would never leave me, nor would he forsake me. me. Then yes. you come back again. When he come back and he might tell you, you ain't never going to stop doing this. Yeah. This the addiction is not going to leave you. Mm -hmm. And you're grieving over it. You're like, God, where is it? There's nobody I can call on. But the Bible says, they that call upon the name of the Lord, if you call upon the name of the Lord, you shall be saved. Yeah. Saving us, rescuing us. He is the rescuer of this hour. He's the one that brings you out hope. and, and gives you hope Ooh. and restores you. The Bible says that we can do all things through Christ in Christ. We can do it mm -hmm. not of ourselves mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. when we have Jesus in us, mm -hmm. the hope of glory inside of us, yes. he causes us to be able to like, wait a minute, you gather strength in doing? his name. There's strength mm -hmm. in his name. Yeah. So when you call on his name and you really believe it, mm -hmm. the Bible says we must believe that when we pray to him, that he hears us. Mm -hmm. And when we pray and he knowing that he hears us, 
he's going to answer. Because yeah. there's times also, there's times when I knew that I didn't know <laughs> in myself. <laughs> I don't really yeah. know if I God is hearing think, me. You know. But I kept pressing in. And I kept, Lord, God, Just reveal faith yourself. Yes, God. Because faith. faith will keep you coming back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? It's just like some people, they don't, when they want something for you, they never give up. You notice that? Yeah, oh, you can have faith when you want that, that person want that bottle of wine. The world can have faith, that, that measure of faith that they can keep going and say, can you give me 25 cents? Every day you go out on the street, you got somebody 25 cents. They don't mm -hmm. give up. They don't give They'll up. stand on that street and they in the world. The mm -hmm. world has that kind of uh, 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 drive. a drive. An excitement mm -hmm. to go out there and say, okay, every single day mm -hmm. they know that they're trying to live. They will go and they will gather and try to get what they need. I need How this. much more? Yeah, I need this. And it's crazy, Deborah, because when, um, as Christians, we're still not going to feel all that. Even though I have my sister and them to, to encourage me, mm -hmm. I still, sometimes I'd be like, man, I don't even want to hear what she's going to say. I know what she's going to say. You know, <laughs> how she going to say, do this. I'm going to say, shell. And some men, I'm be like, man, I don't even want to really hear him. And you know, that's the enemy. <laughs> that's Satan. And he's trying to get in to where he don't even want you to hear encouragement. Mm -hmm. He don't want you to want to hear it and, and know he, he don't want you to get strength in anything. He just yes. wants you to keep dwelling and dwelling and putting your mind on those things. Yes. And not being able that to cast that imagination. Yes. That's destroying you. Yes. Because yes. when you have a lack of faith. Oh yeah. You're done. <laughs> your faith is your faith is there. You grilled. <laughs> I said to myself, I said, Lord, Chocolate. this is on. This this sister is on it because she was telling me said I I keep hearing a word about renewing about her mind being renewed and mm -hmm. being abiding because abiding, abiding oh, in Christ. The Bible talks about us abiding in Him. If we mm -hmm. abide in Him, He will abide in us. He comes See? to abide in us, yes. so He's not away from us. But the enemy of our soul wants us to think. That he's away from mm -hmm. us. So it's a God don't love you. No, yeah. You lie awesome. all the time. You're always stealing. Ooh. You stick with me. Didn't you you still didn't you smoke that joint yesterday? And you know you've been fighting not to smoke the joint. But you in your Please. words that God, I want to be free from these drugs. Mm -hmm. But the enemy will keep, and there are believers that are struggling with different things Thoughts. that brought fear and the casting down that fear. Casting down, God, I know I'm going to wind up beating them up today. Mm -hmm. I know I'm going to wind up doing something. There's people out there crying. There's people right now having addiction of abusing children. Mm -hmm. God's saying, stop what you're doing. Break it up. Don't Lord, do it no more. Don't do it no more. Them. Yes. Run. Go get help. Get help for yourself. You know you're having a problem with uh, abusing children. You know mm -hmm. you have a problem abusing uh, your husband. Mm -hmm. you, you're abusing your wife. Call on the name of the Lord. Yeah. God is the only one. He can break away from that and help you get out of that anger. What are you angry for? You He's got faithful. to see God asked uh, Cain that. Mm -hmm. He said, why are you so angry? Yeah, what's wrong with you? You're that mad over that. He, he, God calls oh, us yeah, to check ourselves. Go get some, uh, a better sacrifice? Yes. Why are you so angry? His mind was in some other place. He was thinking about thinking about something else. It's See? like, what's wrong? See? Yeah. God wants us to change. He wants us to allow him to change us. Yeah. Allow him Renew. to bring us out. Because it is him. The yes. Bible says that he, Jesus said when he when he was leaving, I'm going to send you another comforter. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit to comfort. We don't God. if we call upon the Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, I need answers. Mm -hmm. The Bible says he will lead us and guide us into all, all truth. truth. Yeah. So it, it, it's nothing that we won't that we won't uh, um, be able to do if we put our trust in the Lord. And don't get me wrong. I know the struggles. I know that there's times when you're praying and you're saying, mm. Lord, I need the answer. Yeah. And it seemed like it's taking forever. Uh, there's times when I was praying for other people and it's like, bam, 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 bam. All over the place. like, hey, girl, God, move for me, God. I'm like, wait a minute. Why does it take so long for when I pray for myself? Because we're God, not supposed to be praying testing, for ourselves testing. like that. I mean, we could pray for ourselves. I'm talking for really certain situations. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you might be, let's say that God told you, 
uh, you're going to get a promotion. Mm-hmm. And let's say that you, the, the money that you really need to be able to pay all your bills and get them off is taking a long time from to come through. Yeah. So you like, Lord, what's taking so long? Yeah, Father, you promised doing? me. Sometimes the, the answer is right there. And then sometimes we'll open up our mouth and say, I'll never get nothing. I see everybody Ooh. else getting it. I ain't gonna never. Cursing I ain't gonna yourself. never get no job. I ain't gonna never get no better job. I'm gonna always be. And that's the devil speaking to your mind. And there's times that he will make you think it's you. Oh, you. You see, you ain't gonna mm-hmm. never have nothing. You must have did something. Yeah. You must have did something that you wasn't supposed to be doing. See. Yeah. And he'll speak to your mind. And you have to say, you know what, devil? The Lord rebuke <laughs> oh, you right God. now. The Bible says he shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. Yes. You have to remember and tell your enemy yeah. of the enemy of your soul now. Because his whole purpose is to make you doubt God. Mm-hmm. Not believe that God is a provider. God said he shall supply of your needs. And that's what we're supposed to believe. So when the devil come and say, wait a minute. You missed it. Mm-hmm. The Bible, yes, you know the word, but you, the enemy tell the enemy, just say, you know the word, See? but God has given me the word and he's given me authority with ah. the word to speak the truth and not doubt. Not waver. Yeah, not doubt, not being wavering. So the enemy is always going to test you to see where you are when you say, I believe, I believe mm-hmm. I got that job. Yeah. Then some people be tested. Yeah. I met a young man that he wanted a job, and I said, when you persistent at something, God is seeing that you truly love him. When you're constantly coming before him, when you're constantly not giving up and saying, Lord, I need you. Lord, I desire you. It's showing your love. Any And even in this world, if a woman have her husband, and she's going to him, honey, I desire this. And if he's a, a husband that love God, that he, he's going to open up some kind of way and say, "What, well, honey, you're right. Mm-hmm. Abraham was humble before yeah. God. God told him, listen to your wife. See, do what your wife is saying. Even though it cost her later, yeah. she still came to him and he was humble. He was able to receive what his wife was saying. Mm-hmm. There's sometimes the enemy will try to stop you and speak a lie in your ear yeah. and you can might do something wrong and wind up later paying for it. And you're going through the grief of that thing. But God is able to bring you out of the grief. He's able to restore you. Okay, yes, you made a mistake. Don't let the devil torment you about your mistakes. Mm-hmm. That's what he does. That's what he is. He is a, a deceiver. See? And his wickedness to a lot of people, it seems good. Because they don't know the truth. Mm-hmm. Once you know the truth, that, wait a minute. The Bible says that Satan comes to steal kill and destroy yeah. but what did jesus say but i have come that you might you have, have life, life. Yeah. and have it more abundantly, abundantly yeah. so the opposite steal your dreams steal your faith you know you're gonna steal that try to steal that steal the hope that any hope that you have and getting to the next where god wants you to be because of the lies and we are here to say that god is the one that heals the mind the heart the soul, and when you get into fear, you get into grief. God will bring you out of grief. And the number one way of coming out of that is to pray before the time. God even spoke to his disciples, Jesus did, I'm saying, spoke to his disciples when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane. Mm-hmm. When he was there, he spoke to them and told them to pray that they enter not into temptation. There's times we will enter into things and before time, if we're prepared in prayer, if we're seasoned in prayer, Jesus, Jesus, Lord, thank you. If when we're seasoned in prayer, God ministers to us and he gives us the strength to pass through the problems that we're having. And when you pass through those problems, you look back, it's like, oh, oh, God have mercy. I made it through this. I could, I would have never thought it, it was so See, bad. Yeah. Things are so bad. I don't think I would have made it through. But because of the presence of the almighty God, the God that cannot feel, the God that exists yesterday and today came through for me, made a way for Every that new time. job, made Every a way for me to time. get through in that hospital, sitting up hours and hours with my baby crying See. sick, See. made a way. Made away with my body when my body was aching so bad. God, 
I thank you. If I had listened to the devil, I would have been dead. But you didn't listen to him. No. You said, oh, God, I thank you. You struggled. You said, Father, help me. You kept crying out like Brian Barnabas. You kept saying, oh, God, help me. Jesus, help me. You kept crying on the, calling on the name of Jesus, and God sent in somebody. Or he did something a miraculous yeah. in that place, and it, you escaped it by the power of God. There's been traps set for you. Yeah. And God brought you out of them. Like that. God brought you like out that. of them. Ain't God good? <laughs> yes. yes. He brought me out of them. <laughs> you of them this week. Alone. You see? I see, I see, um, I want to acknowledge our our um our people that's joined the line. Amen. I see mom, I think Calvin always say mom got the gold. <laughs> I, I may not see everybody, y'all. Love yes, we trying to. Uh, I we... see mommy. I see Kaylet, <laughs> uh, Pastor K, Minister Kaylet. <laughs> yes, I see my um. Oh, my baby girl, my my niece Jackie. Hi, <laughs> hey y'all. I see Tina Johnson. Oh, T. Uh, Miss Tina's watching. Oh, Father God, we just thank you. Thank you. We Jesus. thank you all for joining us yes. and stuff. This is yes. this is some good stuff here. Um, I, I, when Deborah was talking, I, I thought of the scripture too. Um, and first is first Timothy six and 12 fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of eternal life to which you were called when you were made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. You see that we have promises when we when we gave our life to Christ that came with benefits we got to fight we've got to cast down these imaginations these thoughts these feelings the feelings the only feelings we should be feeling is the fruits of the spirit <laughs> Over there in Galatians Love, joy, 5. peace, long suffering. Yes. Yes. We need to try to steer far away. You know how they say Jesus take the wheel? Yeah, take the wheel and steer far from anger, rage, <laughs> uh, 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 carn carnal thinking, carnality, old mindset. Oh, I can't change. I'm too old. I'm too young. Oh, I, didn't, man, I, don't have, yes. I didn't have enough oh, fun yes. yet. I oh, can't yes. give it to him right now. Because <laughs> you made it decide, <laughs> hey, oh, I can't do it. I need help one more week. God. One more week. <laughs> I, I hate to say this, but that's I was so hurt for my brother. Mm -hmm. He kept on saying over and over again, he would say, um, um, I'm just going to do one more album in the world. And then I'm going to go to gospel. I want to ask y'all a question. Is he here? One more album. Back and 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 it's not promised. Tomorrow's not promised. You know, God wants us to choose him today. Yes. You know? Yes. And 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 it's just too much going on for us to even try to wait. Especially when this time is getting there's there's rappers out there telling the telling their um, fans that they're going to hell. Oh, you right up in here with me? Hey, you at my my uh, concert, concert mm -hmm. and you sitting up here. Guess what? The ra at the rapture come, you going to hell with me? Yep. They I, the, <sighs> they would have they started trampling. For me getting up out of there, <laughs> it would have been like somebody came up there with a gun and said, ah, man. <laughs> I somebody somebody been tell you who they out. are. They say that somebody tell you, believe them. I'm the devil. And they, <laughs> they say, say that. Let me, you, uh, uh, I, I found out who you are. Now it's time for me to go. Yeah. Because it's just like being in a place, just like I was saying, when your mind is not right. When your mind is not stayed up on the Lord, you nope. can find yourself in the wrong place. See? When your heart, the Bible says, I love the Lord God with all your heart, all your mind. All your oh, strength. praise Jesus. All your strength, right? Mm -hmm. Love the Lord God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, mm -hmm. and all your all soul. your strength. Yes. There's a part of us That's that everything. Even everything about us should love him so much that we don't want to ponder on things that are useless. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying, like I said, I'm not saying these things are easy, but I'm saying 
that we can win victory over them. Yeah, we're God, us. we've already come, overcome them. Mm -hmm. But we can win victory if we don't feel like we got the victory as we're praying. We are already conquerors. You see? Yes. And therefore, if we're praying and if we're staying in the in the presence of God and praying and saying, Lord, help me to renew my mind. So when things come in my mind, when you go before the Father, Lord, it's not my strength, it's your strength. Father, I thank you that you've given me power over these things. And I I mean nights and days of saying, Father God, on my knees, oh Lord God, you're, yes, Luke 10, 19. Mm -hmm. But Father God, behold, I give unto you power, you said, to tread upon snakes and scorpions yes. and all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm me while I was being in torment. Mm -hmm. These are the words that were continually coming out of my mouth. I didn't get up the next day and I didn't go tell somebody about it. I wasn't telling everybody about my problems. I, I went to the elders, people, somebody who was mature, somebody who could pray with me, somebody who would fast with me See? and say, sister, oh, right. you can make it through this thing. Cause when you are telling it, to everybody, there's everybody don't want your good. They're not for your benefit. Your flesh, they're not to say flesh. to say, oh, sister, I'm with it with you, and they're praying really against mm -hmm. you. You need somebody who is in there with the Lord. You know. There's a scripture I can't remember what it said. It talks about to follow after, to be in fellowship with those who have a pure heart. Yeah. When when a person's heart is pure, they want what is godly. They want what is true. They want those things that edify and build mm -hmm. up for the gospel. We're supposed to build up one another. Up. We can't build up one another if our thoughts is thinking every time that's supposed to come in the door. She mm -hmm. makes me sick. I can't yeah. stand her. She knows she ain't saved. Because if your mindset is right, you'll be like, wait a minute, wait a minute. That sister needs deliverance. Yes. I'm going to pray for that sister to get free. And, that demon and ain't going to mess with me. you, you right now in the me. name of Jesus having me thinking that. Hey! Come on. Come, Come on. on. That's now. it. That's it. Here, let me bust this scripture real quick. John 16, <laughs> 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulations. Yes. But be of good cheer. Yes. I have overcome the world. Yes. He Praise overcame God. the world. Praise and guess God. what else it say in 1 John, baby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it says 514, 1 John 514, it says, For whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. See? And this is the victory that overcome the world, even our faith. Our faith. He is our deliverer. Them scriptures is right My there God, just slamming, mercy. hitting us, hitting us. And we and we got to bring it to our remembrance. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, uh, When I gave my life to Christ, I repented of my sins. Yes. Oh, now I'm an overcomer. I can't think about what I did the other day. But it comes like that. Well, let and me you repent. Know what let me That's repent. Let me repent again. Amen. If I Amen. need to repent again, Amen. let me do it. Because there ain't nothing going to stop me from going to see my father <laughs> and my, my um, the son of God, the one that died for me, our savior. All right. All right. Y'all right. fight. I'm telling you, fight. I've been fighting over here, never fighting. Fight the good fight of faith. That's it. Find the good fight of faith when things oh. look impossible. <laughs> things look like, oh my goodness, I, I don't and know things if I'm going to ever get. Because you know how thoughts will come to your mind when things is really bad. Ooh. I mean, it, I mean, there's places that even with, like, I mean, uh, let's say relationship thing situations or uh, trying to be in a relationship and trying to work with that person and a person seem to have carnal say carnal things all the time. Mm -hmm. You're trying to believe God for your healing yeah. or you saying, Oh, we're going to, Oh baby, we're going to make it through this. You will hug with your husband or your wife. We're going to make it through this. And there, they might be sitting in the corner talking about, talking about, Oh no, this, this, this stuff. We ain't going to make it through. We didn't, we didn't been down this road. How many times is going around See? in a circle? We ain't oh, going to never man. get through this. Get them out of my that corner. being able to say, honey, listen, the get word of God says, me. I mean, constantly that scripture, that scripture, that scripture, that scripture, we're going to make it through. The Bible says that we can do all things through Christ. him, through him. Yeah, and if we're time. abiding, if we're abiding in him, yes. we'll be able to do it. Because yes. we're abiding in him. We'll yes. be able to get through it. But we'll get through it with joy. Many of the people in, in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, it talked about they were they had faith. They Some of them, they was, I mean, persecuted. 
we have to be able Man. to stand in order to be able to minister to someone else. If we don't have our mind lo- in love with God, then the enemy can continually use things to keep us to, from ministering properly because it's always something will be coming. Bam, mm-hmm. bam, bam. This way, you want to minister to God's people, but the enemy is constantly using something to try to keep your mind in a different area, see, yeah. other carnality. Mm-hmm. The Bible says, love not the world, neither, neither the, the things, things that are in the world, the world yeah. for all that is in the world is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Yes. And it goes on, I forgot the other scripture underneath, but it says that those things are what we wrestle with in this mm-hmm. world. Our eye gates, we fight yeah. with so much. Things that you'll see, thing, I can't listen to, like everybody else, they, they might listen to certain music. Love and songs. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not Love saying songs. it's good. I'm not saying no songs. What's the source? All is mess. <laughs> yes, what's the stop. source? Ooh. What is the source? That's that's what gets me. I've I've heard just walked in a store and I've heard a song. Yeah. And it's something I didn't want to hear. And it kept ringing in my ear. I had to cast that imagination down. I had to cast it down because things about sexual, being with somebody and all this kind of stuff. In most places you go now, they play music that they want. The only place that I've been, I can say for sure that they really uh, uh, have really um, things about the Lord Mm -hmm. and Christ in it is Hobby Lobby. I go in the Hobby Lobby and I can hear that they're praying a radio with Christian music on it. What? But some other places I've been, they was playing oh, something. No. I was like, whoa, oh, 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 you know, I don't want to hear all that cursing. Yeah. I don't want to hear the disrespect of my father. I don't want to hear the disrespect of my brothers and sisters mm-hmm. and especially women. Some of the songs they sing today, they call women out of their name it's and the women are dancing to it. Yep. And there are Christians that are dancing to this spirits. music and they calling people the B word. <laughs> and all kinds of wickedness. God wants us to hear, hear what's going on in the spirit. Souls are being snatched. He wants us to see souls are being snatched. Mm-hmm. They're being snatched through what? Music. The mind, the, the music. music oh, videos, I don't care about this. I don't care the about shows. that. I just want to hear the music. They got shows. I was one of them. I used to watch the reality shows. I did. And the housewives and all that mess, I had to shut that down. Had me got a spite fighting spirit on me and thinking about all kind of stuff. I said, no. Why was you watching that, Shell? Because it was entertaining. You want to know what's going to happen to them, what they, what they going to say or why they saying this and stuff. And it's like, it's so dumb. It's like, why am I even looking at this? I stopped watching, um, um, what is some soap operas a long time ago? Cause I used to be mad. I wanted to know what was gonna happen. They'd be like, "To be continued and mess." I'd be like, "Well, they got they got movies, they got movies now. I mean, uh, shows now. They they call them they call them Christian uh, things now. The, you know the one that they said the pastors' wives and all that. You know what? Let me tell you something. We got to get ready for the Lord." Yeah, we got we to be ready for God. Mm-hmm. Our minds got to be set on him. Yeah. We can't be caught up into the world and the, and the system of this world, the system Ourself. of this world. Yes. It's all about, it's all about me, the me, flesh. me, me, me. Even when grieving. Yeah. You can be selfish grieving. And see, cause you can't. I'm going to see him no more. <laughs> Well, he was the only one that helped me. She was the only one that prayed for me. She was the only one that helped me financially or this or that. Now I'm not going to see her. I don't got nobody now. It's still selfish. And you're not even thinking to the fact of, hey, they're in heaven. I'm going to see them again. You see? Let me just work on my own soul salvation with fear and trembling so I can get there too. Yes. (laughs) But we don't think of that. Yeah, but I mean, but when you're going you through it, see him, your you mind, yes, him. you want to see him, you, you want to hug him every day. Because you like, were telling me about Tony. Yeah, you were saying like, I, 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 Deborah, I know I just met. I said I know too, because I said I don't grieve most like other people do. You see, because God has dealt with my heart about grief with the the death of my brother, with the death of my dad, two brothers. with the death, yeah, with my uncle, two brothers. I had to get deliverance because I blamed myself before my youngest brother's death. 
He was nine and I was 12 because I babysitted him a lot. And I was, when that night he got sick, I thought that Lord, I, if I had have been woke and I would have been there, my brother wouldn't have died. So I had to mm -hmm. uh, uh, ask God to heal me because emotionally the devil was tormenting with me, yeah. tormenting me, tormenting me. And that's what he'll because do. Because I was thinking to myself, now this was the devil. Now listen closely mm -hmm. now what I'm fixing to tell you about a lie mm -hmm. and a stronghold. Okay. My little brother said, if I ever die, I want you to bring me a pack of Lifesaver candy mm -hmm. and my orange Bible. This is what he said. Mm -hmm. Put it in my coffin. Now, I didn't think he was going to die. That wasn't even in my mind. See. But when he died, he I forgot the lifesavers. I forgot the orange Bible. Mm -hmm. And guess what? The devil tormented me for years in my ear. Your brother's dead and he, can, he can't even eat. And here honored. you eating. You're eating. And you didn't bring his lifesavers. Oh. Man. You talking about a stronghold. You talking about saying, God, deliver me. Because this demon that was in my ear telling me that accusing me and saying, you didn't do this. Your brother asked you to do this. Mm -hmm. And how can you sit there and eat food? I couldn't eat food for days because the devil was telling me that. Your yeah. brother's in the grave and he can't even eat. Yeah. And and you because sitting there smiling stuff, you're and eating stuff. Why they and smiling? everybody's laughing and trying to put me more and more into depression. I was a child and this is how I was thinking. Jeez. Do you see how important it is for us parents to listen to our children? Mm -hmm. To know that their stronghold, the devil will put a stronghold in a child's mm -hmm. mind and make them commit suicide? It's your fault. Mm -hmm. Your dad did. It's yep. your fault, yep. your mama did. That stronghold got to come down. Yep. That devil that's speaking in your mind, telling you God don't love you, that's telling you, oh, I got the, uh, uh, yeah, you you know what? You ain't no good. What have you ever did for anybody? Uh, you didn't finish school. You Ooh. don't have a good job. Mm -hmm. You're always borrowing. What good ah. are you for? He's a lie. He's a lie. The father. I'm sorry, y'all, that I'm very passionate father. about what I'm saying. The devil's a lie. He's a father of lies. He comes to accuse. He's an accuser of the brethren. Wait He's a minute, accused, though. a baby Christian he'll accuse. Yeah. And wait a minute, though. He was trying to tell me um, when they was in the hospital and sick and they were dying, why well, you should have fasted. You should have fasted and prayed. <laughs> you should have not ate for days, a week or something. You should have fasted until God brought them back. You didn't, you didn't do right. <laughs> And that was a lie, y'all. <laughs> you lie. see what we saying? Anything, the word of God, where's that scripture at? Uh, when I went to do good, evil was always, evil is always present. <laughs> it was, I was Constantly. That uh, and something's Constantly always going, was going on. But you know, he was still standing for God. Mm -hmm. There's things we're going to go through. We're going to face major things. Major. But God is an all- Hope, all strength. He knows all things. Know the devil don't know everything. Nope. He has to send out somebody to go and, ch and chase down and see. Mm -hmm. Or oh, we'll go. You go check them out over there, and you go check them. But no, God mm -hmm. is there before he gets there. Hey, God oh. will allow you to go through circumstances. You, it's to build your faith, yes. and it's to see. Oh, you say you love me. Mm -hmm. So you a woman, or you a man, and you think it's wrong for somebody to prove to tell somebody to prove their love to you? Mm. Someone proving their love to you, there's nothing wrong with them asking you to prove their love. Mm. The father is showing us you you say you love me. How many times did he ask Peter? Love is Peter, an action, do you though. love me? It's an action. And he asked him, and Peter started getting kind of aggravated, it seemed like. Yeah, he did. You know? So you think about it. If God is, is requiring and you requiring as a wife to, uh, to get a husband or a man in your life and you requiring for him to be able to show you who he really is, mm -hmm. does he really care? Does mm -hmm. he stand for you like he say? Is he willing to die for you? That's if bad. someone jumped in front of you and start trying to shoot, can you stand in front of the gun and say, no, you're not shooting my fiance. Yeah, my no, wife. you're not shooting my wife. My no, you're not shooting my kids. How, what is your commitment? What is your Selfless. loyalty? 
The loyalty not only got to be in our hearts and our spirits, but it got to be in our mind. Yeah. Because the Bible says if we keep our minds stayed upon him, if we, he will keep us in perfect peace. Yes. That perfect peace, the peace of, oh, That's if I die mean. tomorrow, how was Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego able Woo! to say that? Yeah. Because they was, they knew. They said, even if he don't, O oh king, yep. we are not <laughs> going to bow down to your statue. Their heart was yep. set and they believed God even to the point of being thrown in a fiery furnace. That was Isaiah 26. Isaiah 26. Say it, say it louder. Oh, Isaiah 26, 3 and 4. If you keep your mind stayed on me, on, on the Lord, he will keep you in perfect peace. Yeah, perfect. Because you trust in him. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Because, yeah. you, because you trust in him. It's so beautiful. It, it makes me get happy. It makes me get joy. Mm-hmm. Because with the thoughts and the feelings that the enemy want to put on you and have you bound and stuff, it makes you just want to not do anything. It makes you just want to give up. Yes. Want to just give up and be like, you know what? It's okay. I'll just forget it. No. You got to fight. Fight. I'm so thankful. Fight. I'm so thankful. I'm telling you, I'm thankful. I mean, it brings tears to my eyes because I can think about all the times when I cried out to God in the midst of fiery trials, uh, um, trials, I'm going to tell my testimony and we'll try to tell it separately because if I tell it now, it's going to be too much and it's going to be, I, I can't even tell you. I, I know I'll start crying because I, I'm so thankful for what God brought me through. Yes. As a child coming up, the, the, the all the things that I had to pass through and the hand of God bringing me through it, it God putting, mm -hmm. setting up, people in the midst of me to tell me and to, to, to help me and to speak the life into me through yes. the word of God, people that yeah. were loyal to God, people who trusted God and taught me, no, you got to pray sister Deborah. No, you got to trust God sister mm -hmm. Deborah. Even when I was having black eyes, even when I couldn't barely walk, even when my arms were dislocated, all kinds of things that God brought me through to be able to still say, God, you are good. Ooh. He's still good. He's still miraculous. He's, He's still insane. famous. He takes the <laughs> fame. Don't nobody else need the fame. No. I give the fame to God because yeah. he's the one that deserves it. Yeah. He deserves all the good. We ever, we can oh, talk about Lord. the loyalty, the joy, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. And I can truly say his, if it's not for the name of the Lord and not for Jesus, that I call upon the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you right now. He is that strong tower, y'all. Yes, he is. He's that strong tower. My sister gets to talking on him sometime. I'll be like, I didn't took over. <laughs> hey, Jesus it's is all Lord. Right. It's all right. I told her, God come on good. in, sister. Come on in. Because I'm telling you, I get excited. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Show. Bumpy. Bumpy Johnson. <laughs> I see my partner. But Jesus. I'm telling you right now, it's time. It's time for us to come out and say, Lord, God, be with, get, surround yourself with yes. people who will encourage you. Yes. People who you will speak to. the word of God to a you. Because sister, oh no, sister, that's not a good th thought, yeah, sister. Do that's not good. Come on, let's pray. Don't do you that. everybody going to join in with you. Yeah, girl, don't I know this. That's, don't that's, 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 you don't need nobody saying crazy stuff to no, you in the you, middle of the. Uh, we, was, we was reading today and they was talking about Peter. You remember when Peter, Peter was in prison? And he was praying. Mm -hmm. Tell me why old boy was praying for the people that was praying for him. <laughs> he was asking God to answer their They're prayers praying. and they were praying that he get uh, a release from prison. See? <laughs> and God answered their prayers. See? <laughs> he was at the door knocking. <laughs> what is Peter? <laughs> what? See? It's, 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 it's Peter's at the door. Open the door. Open the door. What's wrong with you? Open the door. They were scared to open the door. They opened the door and he said, Oh, yeah. I was in jail. I was just praying for y'all. <laughs> and we were praying for you, Peter. You see? So they answered like Peter's prayer. Like God answered their prayer and he answered Peter's <laughs> prayer. That's wait, powerful. Wait, wait, wait. Lord, please let me get out of here. Father God, if I get out, I, I promise I'll do this. That's how a lot I of us pray. I will do this different. <laughs> and I'm not going to even say this no more. I've been saying this. I'm not going to do it no more, Lord. I'm going to do this and stuff. 
No, <laughs> Lord, your will is for me to be out. But let me pray for my brothers and sisters because I know that they're afraid right now. They're afraid that I'm in this position. They're yeah. afraid for me. But I'm here taking a taking a taking a lash for you, Father God, for your word being preached and taught. Yes. And we need to be the same way today. We need to be able ready to go. Go to jail. Oh, go to jail. God, I, I said, Lord, if I go to jail, just let it be for preaching your word. Never because I ran the light or if I hit somebody, <laughs> don't let it be for something crazy. But do I would gladly do it for the gospel. Yes, that's I it. I would gladly say, okay, that's what all if I'm of preaching us the truth, get that together. if I'm preaching the truth, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Mm -hmm. But if I'm lying, sit me down. Hey. Be going to me. going to jail for telling somebody the truth. I would have gone there and sing all night. I I don't know how cold it might be. I don't like being cold, but I'll be in there singing. Lord oh, God, yeah. I thank you, Father God. Whatever I can think the 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 Holy Spirit to strike a match or something in me See? that fire to get fired up in me that I get so hot. Cause I don't know. Joy. When you pray, sometimes it gets real hot. Have anybody noticed that? Yeah, it does. When you could be, you could be just doing something. All of a sudden, you start praying so <laughs> intensely, you start taking so off your coat. Say, wait a minute, I got too many clothes on because the Holy Spirit. It, he, it's like he, he is like getting you heated up, <laughs> heated up to even pray more. When the Holy Spirit starts being stirred up on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. I don't know about nobody else. Oh, it happens I, to me. I'm, the Bible says flashes. Huh? Yeah, it, happens. <laughs> it happens to me. Even with these hot flashes. <laughs> this girl is so funny. I'm telling you. Y'all. Y'all. Thank y'all. What time you. is it? Thank y'all for joining us. <laughs> what you time know, is it? <laughs> I don't even know how long we've been on there, but I know we've been on for a minute. <laughs> Almost an hour. Oh, Father God, we just thank you, Lord, for this time that we've had with our brothers and sisters. Lord. We pray that it's a blessing yes, to them, Lord. Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Father. that they were fed, that they were told, that they were encouraged, that they were lifted up in yes, your Jesus. name, Father God. Name. It is not us, Lord. It's you, Father God. Yes. You live in us. You've given us the Praise ability you, to speak your word. You've given us thank the ability you, to pray for God, our loved Jesus. ones and thank pray you, for our, our, you, our people that, that love you are fellow Christians. There's ones that are being persecuted right now. Yes. Lord God, we just pray right now for their, your Ooh. strength to Thank cover you, and Jesus. over Thank and you, camp Lord. them, Father God. Mm -hmm. Lord, we pray that they will Thank be you, um, um, set free, Father God, that they will remain strengthened in your word because greater is he that's in them than yes. he that's in the world. Yes. And no weapons formed yes, against them Jesus. shall prosper. Yes, they yes, have a Father. crown of life that you prepare for them for eternity, Lord. Yes. Eternal rest with you, the Father, and with the Son that died for yes, us. Jesus. Oh, Father God, we just pray, Lord, that every one of these oh, ears God. and people that are watching our broadcast you, right now, Thank you, Jesus. that they will begin to call upon the name of the Lord. And Praise you said that name, if you Jesus. call upon the name of the Lord, you shall be saved. Yes, We yes. thank you, Father God, for removing and unloosing the bands of wickedness Yes. The depression. The yes. Oppression. Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you are here to let the oppressed go free. Yes. Father God, you came that we might have life and have life abundantly, Lord. We give you praise, Jesus, Father God. Thank you, Father Protect God. Protect our thank our, you, Jesus. our sisters and brothers in Christ, Lord. Yes, Lord. Give Jesus. them a str the strength to go, to go forward to endure till the very end. Yes. We pray these things. Yes. We agree. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, we Lord say, God. Amen. 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 Y'all, it's been good. <laughs> it's been nice. <laughs> oh man. What do you say? She's with so on a Daytona. Hey, we. I see some more people. A few other people. Y'all, thank y'all so much. Thank y'all for coming in, in, tuning with us. We know we've been gone for a minute. We've been gone for a minute, and that's really why we have had. Uh, been a, a family, we've had a lot of things going on. We've been trying to get situated, yeah, and different ones are moving. So, we're happy, we're um, pitching in and we're doing our part as a family. And we want to make sure that, um, 
if anyone, anybody want to say anything to us during it, I mean, just go ahead and speak it out because I mean, I don't, we don't want to be, uh, uh, just saying things. We want y'all to, you know, add in there, you know, mm -hmm. give the word, you know, God put on your heart or scripture or something, just say yes, it yes. and just, uh, be ready to, to communicate in any way that you desire. As long as it's respectful, we mm -hmm. receive it. Cause I know that the Bible says that we're supposed to share the word, uh, with one another. So yes. if anybody have words they want to say, be free to say yeah, them. So I mean, we can go into the word together yes. and we can break it and get down and like, wait a minute, uh, sister died. I don't understand it. For sister, no, that's not what that says, sister. Come on with it. Cause I'm going to say, okay, let me go and see. You got to check us. Cause you got, cause I mean, you, <laughs> you, you don't want to. just anybody just telling you anything. You got to check what we saying. So yeah, check it out. Go check come what in there we with saying. Say, oh, oh, sister Deborah, that, that word say such and such and such. You missed a part of that. Mm -hmm. Well, I missed a part of it. Cause I ain't ashamed of nothing. Fast. I'm unlearned. Tell me fast. I mean, I don't know I all the script, <laughs> all the things like that. And, and I'm saying that if I was coming to school, I didn't go to college. I didn't so a big words. The most of the words, I don't even know. I make up words. <laughs> so you would discover that. And some people might not like it because of, but I'm being me. I can't be nobody but me. And I advise you to be you who God called you to be too. Yeah. I love y'all. Love y'all. Okay. We're going to let y'all go. Mm, is the truth being told? It is being told, y'all. <laughs> it is. Yes, it's it being is. told. Amen. So let's shout, shout it from, from the, the rooftop. rooftop. That's it. <laughs> hey. <laughs>